evening, everybody. Thanks for coming out for our last performance at Candy Cane Lane. These kids have worked so hard and put so much time into it. I want you to know that all the props, all of the set, all of our little things down here, um, the drum, you're gonna see some drummers, their little rhythm, all of that, of course, with some adult supervision, but all of that is the work of all of our kids. So we, uh, as a whole group here, have put in a lot together to present this for you, and we're excited y'all can be here. Um, just a couple of things. If you haven't been in our church before and you do need to use the restroom, it's right behind this center door, and the first doorway is the men's restroom, and the next one is the women's. Um, afterwards, we're going to have a cookie reception right out here, but, and kids, are you listening to me? Okay. You're going to stay put so that parents can get a picture, okay? Okay, so we're going to stay put. Our whole cast will stay up here so that you guys can grab a picture before they all blow out of here. Um, the, ki the kids are going to have a little bit of a cast party in the back room, parents, just so you know. So that's where they'll be to pick them up. Let's see, is there anything else? I don't think so, besides a huge thank you to all the parents that helped make this possible, and a lot of our church family has put their time and talents into making this happen, too, so we really appreciate that. All right, also, don't be afraid to clap for these kids. Uh, you know, this is something they've worked hard at, and, and it's really encouraging when they hear the audience enjoying this work that they've put in, so that's totally appropriate. After solos, go ahead and clap. When the drummers do their thing, go ahead and clap. It'll really encourage them, so. All right, without further ado, we have Candy Cane Lane. Christmas Eve. We'll take you on a journey to a land of make-believe. Like children all around the world, we dream of something sweet. We will take you on a journey to a land of make-believe. On a journey to a land of Okay. 
time to get going to bed. I know you're excited for Christmas, but it'll never get here unless you go to sleep. But, Mom, we haven't even finished the cake for the party tomorrow. And whose fault would that be, Max? Oh, what, from what I could see, nobody wanted to follow the recipe. I put in the right amount of sugar. No, I put in the sugar. Great, we all put in the sugar. And let me guess, nobody put in the flour, right? Flowers? I didn't know we needed flowers. Not roses, Pee-wee. But what are we going to do about the cake for the party tomorrow? Yeah, when Robbie gets here, he'll want some cake. When do our cousins get here? They'll celebrate Christmas with us tomorrow morning. If you ever get to bed, come on, let's go. Was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, as visions of the sugar plums danced in their heads. Just a few more hours till this day slips away, Christmas day will be here at last. Just a few Dorothy, it sure ain't Kansas. Oh, I hope we're not lost. No, you're, you're not, not lost. lost. Who, Who said, said that? that? We did, over here in the red and white. They don't call us the candy cane twins for nothing. Where are we? We heard you had a little problem with the cake. Heavy on the sugar? What you guys need is a recipe. Great, we've even got munchkins. Actually, around these parts, we call them the Christmas, Christmas Candy, candy kids. kids. And we're going to take you on a journey down the sweetest of streets, the, the candy, candy Cane Lane. Ding down the lane. 
I sure am hungry. Actually, Mark, your body will always be hungry if it doesn't get the right kind of food. That's why we're here. What kind of food? You see, Max, we need to feed our bodies, but there's a place deep inside that needs food, too. Soul food. This is getting a little confusing. It's really not. Maybe our special friend can help you guys understand. Come on, have tip. tip. Containers are swinging in the trees. Honey is the buzz of every busy bumblebee. Robins look for worms, or slithering under rocks. Bugs Bunny eats his carrots to see what's up with dogs. For sheep that have wandered from the fold. Leprechauns are wishing for a bowl of lucky charms. And Goldilocks likes porridge, not too hot or cold, but warm. Grow up. I'm ready for a major sugar buzz. I wonder if I can eat this front door. Get your hands off my house! <laughs> Calm down, Figgy. They mean no harm. Marshall, Mark, Max, I would like you to meet Mr. Fig E. Pudding. He's the best cook in these parts. Figgy, we've got three hungry hearts here looking for a recipe. And I was thinking you could help. I see. My heart was once hungry also, but I learned a secret. Follow me. Come on in.
one that has a hungry heart. Add some hope. And give his future a new start. Stir in faith. As tiny as a mustard seed. It's the hope and faith that we've been singing of. And sprinkle it with love. You've got to have love. It makes the world go round and round. Come on, friends. Let's mix it up. Serve it with love. It will flavor all you do. Satisfies. Oh, it's just too good to be true. Salt and taste. You bet a little pinch is all you need. A nutritious and a hearty appetite. A recipe for life. Toss, toss, mix, mix. We've got the ingredients and we're cooking now. The master chef. He can teach us all to cook. His recipes. The secrets are all in the book. So don't forget. Don't forget. You need his faith and hope and love. A hungry heart. Another winning recipe. Faith, hope, and love. You can never go wrong. All right, friends, show me what you learned. Let me hear ya. Start with the light. Start with the light. Recipes, they're always the best. Bye, bye Figgy. Bye, Figgy. Bye. 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 You were like me, you just could only drink milk, not open up for solid food. And when a person is still, it's not with milk, it shows he is a bread bar or not in the Christian life. It does know much about the difference between right and wrong. You would never be able to eat solid food or understand the deeper things in God's word. Until you learn right from wrong by practicing doing right, through your five, thirteen, and fourteen. this one. Books 
crazy. Yep. I wonder if he'll ever grow up. I don't know. Well, we gotta get growing. Where's our friend Casey? Right on time. I can hear it coming down the track. Dress. It's a glory bound express with a loyal, happy crew. Hear the whistle, get on board. Time, Time to grow, grow with an all to the Lord. What do you know? What do you know? Gotta grow, grow, grow. What do you know? What do you know? Gotta grow. If our engineer is Jesus, then our train will run on course. And we won't need extra power Cause we're traveling with the sword We're growing in the knowledge And the wisdom of our Lord We're heading for the station And our heavenly reward What do you know, what do you know Gotta go, go, go What do you know, what do you know Gotta go There she is, right on schedule All aboard the Glory Bound Express Next stop, the Pearly Gates to know and love him. Train up a child. To watch and pray. Train up a child. To always love him. Train up a child. To always obey. Train up a child. To read their Bible. Train up a child. To understand. Train up a child. To love his neighbor. Train up a child. To lend a hand. What do you know? What do you know? Gotta go, go, go. What do you know? What do you know? Gotta go. Thank you, Ms. Jane. It's always been a pleasure. On time for what, Jane? To finish decorating our cake, of course. And this dream is almost over. Oh, but I was just starting to enjoy it. Well, don't forget about the decorating cake part. Well, I'm not really into the whole decorating thing, but I want the cake to have lots of icing. And candy canes, too, in the honor of our new friends, Jack and Jane. But remember, we need this cake to celebrate the birthday of Jesus. Sorry, but what do candy canes have to do with that? Marsha, I'm glad you asked. I think a candy cane can be more than just a Christmas treat. It can be one of the best reminders of Jesus. What do you mean? Well, let's look closer. It's shaped like a shepherd's staff. striped red and white. It, it tastes good too. J, and that reminds us of Jesus. No, you should go with that kind of kid idea after all. Every time I see a candy cane hanging on a tree, I can't help thinking of the one who gave his life for me. Cause everything about its color to its shape 
almost finished, but there's one thing missing, candles. I thought candles are just to tell how old something <laughs> Well, in this case, it's different. We light a candle to remember three very special things. First, we remember the star Bethlehem that led the wise men. Second, into the dark night, Jesus, the light was born. And finally, we are to be a light so the world can clearly see Jesus shining, shining in our lives. A son. She wrapped him in cloth and laid him in the manger because there was no room for them in the inn. There were shepherds living in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, saying, Do not be afraid. I bring good news of great joy for all the people. In the town of David, a Savior is born. He is Christ the Lord.
Wait a minute. Am I still dreaming? Somebody pinch me. Ow, I was kidding. Hey, let's look at the front door on Christmas morning. Wake up, sleepyhead. Did you guys get your sleep last night? Well, funny you should ask. Where's Casey and baby Bob? Oop, you mean Robert. Yeah, it's Robert. Sorry. Oh, well, they're getting the cake out of the car. Cake? We were supposed to make the cake, but... Oh, that's okay. I couldn't sleep much last night, and I had some unexpected extra help. <coughs> uh, I hope you like the recipe. It's a dream come true. Casey? Robert? Here it is! Oh, yeah. It's so awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, cake, been
Great job, guys. Great job, everyone. Come on up, Figgy. Get behind me. Uh, thank all of you for being our guest tonight. We've had a lot of fun and some laughs. Enjoyed the sights and sounds and catchy tunes. But we also remember a powerful message woven throughout this presentation, and that is the true meaning of Christmas. Jesus Christ came from heaven to earth to give us eternal life. John 3.16 says, God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son. Whoever believes in him can have eternal life. God gave humanity the greatest gift of all, his only son, born in a manger, to grow up one day and die for the price of our sins, save us from judgment, and rise from the dead, proving that there is more beyond this life. The Bible says that all who receive him believe in his name. He gives the right to be his child forever. This is the Christmas gift that lasts forever. You can call out to him even tonight and receive this gift. Your life will never be the same. His spirit cries to us through all the lights and the festivities, the costumes, the candy canes, and the treats. He calls to us to live for him and receive his love and faith with the real hope that we have of eternal life. So remember Jesus and the real message of Candy Cane Lane. Jesus Christ, the recipe for life. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for your Holy Spirit, God. Thank you for using uh, these kids uh, for your glory in the creative arts, Lord. We pray over every family who listens to this online in this room that you bless them. Uh, draw them in to your eternal gift. Uh, your recipe for life. Thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen.